all right guys this is mithril back with another borderlands 3 item guide video and today i'm here at heck at the heck hole so this is the bloody harvest event and yeah basically we have to go through this to get the item we're looking for and we have to go all the way down here i honestly forgot how annoying it is to do this like don't get me wrong it's not hard getting the 25 ghost ectoplasm it's just kind of annoying having to do it just to get back here. But yeah, I will cut and come back to when we get the item to drop. All right, so now I'm here at Captain Haunt, as you guys can see. Uh, give me a good shot here. Okay. Pretty good. I don't have the toboggan on, but it's fine. Where's the other thing? Is it that one? And that one. Almost done. That one. Okay, and the one over there. run away yeah that's not going to be the best damage of how close we were okay sweet and we got him let's see all right looks like we got one nice the fearmonger that is what we were looking at today so you can get the fearmonger from captain haunt as you guys saw or if you're lucky enough, you can get it from the loot ghost. Dude, you're coming off. However, if you do try to get it from the loot ghost, just know the percentage is only 0.12%, I believe. Which isn't a whole lot. However, I did get one from a loot ghost off camera. Holy this one here. Murder. Let's see, is this one better? Um... Hold on, let me see. What's the anoint? Crit damage. I don't have any way to gain terror now that I think about it on this character. I don't really like the terror anoints. I know that they're really strong and whatnot, but... Well, they're loud and they take up a lot of... Like, the screen. I just don't really like them. I don't ever really use them. I used them, like, when the event first came out. But that was it. I don't even use the, uh... The weapons from this event to be honest but you know i digress anyways let's look at it the fearmonger it's a legendary hyperion shotgun it's got the alien barrel with all the eyes and whatnot look at its skin it's got ghosts on it they're moving it's pretty cool i do like the skin its bright text is i can't control their fear only my own so the unique ability of the Fearmonger is it shoots orbs in a square pattern that increase and decrease in size on their flight path. Orbs stick to targets and explode after one second. On impact and on explosion, orbs deal weapon element splash damage. Then you get plus one pellet for each stack of terror for a max of three. Then I believe it comes in all the elements. Yes. And then it can never be non-elemental. So... To use these weapons, you pretty much need the Terror Anoints. But like I said, I don't really have a way to gain Terror. Which is a little bit of a problem. Because if I can't gain Terror, I can't get the extra pellets. I may have to spawn something in to get Terror. That doesn't help me get Terror. Do I get terror if I shoot it? No, I don't. Yeah, alright. It looks like I'm going to have to spawn something in to actually get terror. So I will cut and come right back. Alright, now I'm here at Carnivora. And let's see here. I had to swap over my Infernal Wish for one that has Apply Terror. And then my grenade is the It's P grenade. As you guys can see, it also has a terror anoint. 
Now, Moe's is probably the worst with Terror Anoints, considering her action skill isn't something that can be used often. Like, Zane has the cannon. Amara has, you know, her phase lock-ish ability. Which you can just spam at the ground, and I think that works. Let's see. Flak does have fade away. I don't know if fade away is the quickest or not. And then Moe's has Iron Bear and Iron Cub, and they take a little bit to come back. Let's see, can I find the cooldown anywhere? No, it doesn't say. But yeah, these take a while. So I think what I'm going to do is not have Iron Cub, but instead have Iron Bear and then maybe hop out of it. If that makes any sense. That way I could try to apply my um anoints let's just do minigun because why not okay so we hop in we exit and he should despawn i believe okay we have terror Oh, I should probably point out what I have. Duh. Uh, Infernal Wish. Minesweeper, which I should probably put on for a Blastmaster because this thing does splash damage. Um, What is this? A Hyperion? I don't know if a Pearl is actually going to be the best. Sure, let's put on the Hyperion Company Man. The It's P Grenade, a Mitosis Mose build. No bar. So far, it's doing pretty good. The uh, skulls, as you guys just saw, are from the event. They will spawn. Yeah, so far, it's not doing too bad. I know the Infernal Wish probably isn't the best shield for this weapon. However, it's the only shield I had that had a Terror Anoint. I would probably use the Revolter instead. But like, you know, like I said, I don't really have any Terror Anoints. I even tried spawning in a shield with the Terror Anoints, but for whatever reason, I just couldn't do it. It like wasn't an option. So there's that too. But as you guys can see, it is killing pretty good. Like, it's not bad. I'm not even throwing the pea grenade either. All right, let us go and test this weapon out now on a boss. Okay, now I'm here on Necro DeFeo in front of General Trance Arena. I'm gonna put on my Hyperion Company Man. Okay, let's go down here, activate Iron Bear, hop out of Iron Bear. Now, General Trond does have a resistance to shock, but as you guys can see, it's still doing pretty good. And yeah, he's done. Like, the Fearmonger is pretty good. I just don't like Terror Anoint, so I'd like never use it. I think they're loud. I think they take up some of the screen. While BL, oh my God, if I could speak, while BL3 already has a lot of visual clutter in the game, it just adds more to it. It's another reason why I never use it. But uh, yeah, there you guys go. That's going to be today's video on the Fearmonger. As you guys saw, it's pretty good. I just never really use it. But uh, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe because it will help on my channel. And I will appreciate it like always. And then uh, let me know, did I use the Fearmonger correctly? If I did, great. If I didn't, 
make sure to let me know and then i'll do a part two on it but for now all i really can say is i hope to see you guys uh, next time oh and then i should really quickly mention that i probably won't go back into uh, the heck hole because having to kill the 25 ghosts over and over again not really my thing so i'm probably going to just spawn in the weapons i mean everything spawns from uh captain haunt or the loot ghost so uh yeah now i hope to see you guys uh, next time